Making the most of the space you have can be the difference between a house and a home. A beautiful wood deck is a great way to create more outdoor living space and with a bit of planning, it can feel like it's part of the existing landscape too. This private deck overlooks a lush sloping backyard with mature trees. By incorporating the trees into the deck's design, we not only achieve the sophisticated look, but the deck will get plenty of shade, complements of mother nature. Here's how we did it. One of the first things to consider when building a deck is what type of wood you wanna work with. There are so many beautiful species of softwood to choose from. It really comes down to personal taste and budget. We chose pressure treated southern pine for both the deck and substructure. It's durable, affordable, and takes stain really well. In fact, pressure treated lumber is what contractors overwhelmingly use for the structure that supports the deck because of its load bearing strength and its affordability. There are many types of treated wood to help you do the project right. Check with your contractor or lumber yard to make sure you've got the right use categories for your project. Once the site plan is approved and you have the proper permits, building can begin. The first step is to set the footings, which are installed about every eight feet. Holes were dug 24 inches down and about 24 inches across. Your depth may vary depending on deck weight and your region's frost line, so check your local building codes. Next, we inserted steel rebar into the footings for structural support and then poured concrete into the holes, covering the rebar completely. Once the footings had fully cured, we attached post brackets directly to them and installed the post. Adding shorter posts where the slope elevation was highest and taller posts where the slope elevation was lowest. The next step is to install the ledger board to the home's exterior. This ledger not only provides support for the decking, it securely attaches the deck to your home and helps with weight distribution. We attached our 2x10 ledger to the house using 5-inch bolts. It's crucial the ledger be installed according to code and properly inspected, especially when it comes to decks that are elevated or built on a slope. With a solid foundation in place and posts trimmed to the proper height, we began building out the deck frame, adding support beams that run parallel to the house and rim joists that run perpendicular. Next, we toenailed the joists into place at 16 inches on center to ensure a snug fit. Then we framed around the existing trees, adding smaller joists and extra bracing around the opening. Once all the joists were in place, joist hangers were slipped on and hammered in to secure everything. Next, we began laying the decking, working from the outer edge towards the house. Then a chalk line was snapped and the excess decking was cut away. And of course, being an elevated deck, a railing of at least three feet is required to keep everything up to code. Finally, the deck was stained a rich shade of brown, giving it a protective finish and a contemporary look. Bottom line, if you're lucky enough to have beautiful mature trees in the middle of your build site, incorporate them into your new deck's design and end up with the perfect place to relax and unwind. For more deck inspiration, visit woodnaturally.com.